Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be reviewing Amphibia Season 1 Episode... Sorry, 15. Amphibia Season 1 Episode 15A called A Night at the Inn. <clears throat> And also later today, I'm going to be doing episode 15B called, what was it called? Wally and Anne? Yeah? Yeah. It's called Wally and Anne. And um, I want to say, um, you know, before I start my review, subscribe to my channel. And um, if you guys were wondering, like, why there's no, like, images and stuff, I, I said in, like, in a previous review I think or a couple previous reviews that you're not gonna get like another image until cursed and fiddle me this so if you guys were wondering anyway okay let's start we actually start with um some lore actually um with um there's actually a sign that says oh like leaving the valley like, like you know you're about to leave the, leave the valley and then you get to like this um big ice um barricade like this ice block with like a gigantic like, like millipede or centipede I think it's millipede because it's actually reference to Hop Popular when Hop Hop said like, like hey we haven't rebuilt the school since that millipede incident and it looks like the thing in the ice so I'm assuming it's a millipede and then we have you know Anne Hop Hop Pauline Sprig and basically um. And, you know, um, you know, Anne's like, oh, like, you, you know, like, oh, it's still frozen. And, you know, Hop Hop said, like, yeah, I, I mean, like, like um, I don't want to say I told you so. It's like, the answer, yes, you do. They're like, yep. Um, but, like, I'm sorry, it's a couple more weeks, like, you know, uh, until the dice, um, like, thaws. And I guess Hop Hop was wrong, because remember, in trip to the archives he said in one week so i guess since they actually went to check it out it's actually going to be like in a couple of weeks so like oh wow i guess it's been pushed back and you know and it's like uh and spring's like look i know it stinks but how about let's have some hijinks while you take your mind off it okay have a full episode okay haha and it's like i i, I see there's like a creepy lagoon like nearby like, you want to go check it out? And Anne's like, oh, do you think we can find some uh, bloody, like, remains? And Spurs like, here's hoping. So they're going to go off. And Polly, so it says Hop Up and Polly and, you know, and and Bessie also. And Polly's like, well, while they're doing that, I'm going to go check out the creepy force. It says, like, the slaughter force. Um, and and Hop Up's like, like, nope, you're too young to go on your own. So you're, you're going to stay here. We're going to wait for Anne and Spring to come back. I said, what, but the older kids that get to go, yeah, Polly, because you're you're just a baby. You're you're too little. And Paul's like, uh, and you hear some like leeches, like like like, and then Sprig is like, ah, it's like hop up, go 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 go. And like he's like, yeah. And Bessie just books it out of there. And then you know, and then uh, Sprig's like, ooh, I didn't think leeches could run so fast. It's like like oh, the one side like once in a lifetime opportunity. Like like oh, it was so great. And Paul's like, mmm. And then, you know, um, then you, um, then, then you know, um, Bessie is like, 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 you know, skirting around. And then she's like, you look know, kind of like a car. And then Hot Pop's like, oh, snail trouble, snail trouble, everyone, snail trouble. And then, you know, um, and Spring's like, oh, you, but hey, don't worry, you guys. I know it's things with the mountain pass frozen and now Bessie's stuck, but you know, it's still a perfect day, and then it starts raining, and we're just staring at him, and then, you know, Hop Hop is trying to lift Bessie, but it's, like, too muddy, because all the rain and stuff, and Polly's like, hey, Hop Hop, I can fit under there, and he's like, he's like, no, Polly, just stay up there, we're safe, like a good grandpa, and, you know, and then, you know, Anne is looking around, you know, as she should, she's part of the family, and he's like, hey, look, I, I found a, a b and b in, and then, you know, we should go there, and then Hop Pop is like, like, no way, we're not spending coppers and um, lodging, well, we got a perfectly good tent, he got a tent, he's put the, put the nail, but it blew, the wind blew it away, so the wind blows it away, and then lightning hits it, so it's now it's just completely gone, and, you know, Hop-Hop's like, alright, B&B &B it is, and say, hey, you know, and as a good, like, 
not pet owner. I don't think is Bessie a pet. I don't know. I think it's a family snail owner. He's like, hey, hang tight, Bessie. He puts like a little hood over her so she doesn't really get wet like on her face. He's like, hey, hang on tight, hang on tight, Bessie. We're gonna come back for you. Like you know, we just gotta go check in first. And you know, and Bessie understands. Then they cover each other's up and they go in and. I wish I can show it, oh, but I can't. The inn looks absolutely beautiful. Just the way the fire just, like, you know, feels the, the warmth through the screen. All the, the pictures, just the shading and the lighting. That, it, the animation, oh, and the music. That is one like the most beautiful like you know places I have ever seen in like um in um an animated show. I just want to take a moment and just you know say that. I wish I could show it, but I can't. But I just loved it, and then you know they ring the door like and they have these some um, two um big um frogs and they're southern frogs and um he's like. Oh, howdy, like, you know, w welcome to our inn. <laughs> um, like, you know, my name is Teddy, this is my wife, Mar Martha. And he said, oh, how how do you do? Is the, like, you're welcome to the Dandelion Inn. And, and it's like, like, you know, like, um, and he said, hey, warm, and he said, oh, dear, you can warm yourself by the fire. And then they all, like, you know, and Hop Hop's like, hey, well, that mighty kind of you. And then, you know, Anne's like, hey, I've never seen a species of frogs like you before. And, you know, and Martha's like, oh, same to you, dearie. You know, we're, we're from down south. You know, we're um southern um bullfrogs. And Hoppa's, Hoppa's like, oh, like, you know, so you're not from around here. And he said, no, we, you know, we're from down south. And, you know, we came to visit around Wartwood and, you know, with the outskirts of Wartwood. And it's like, you know, we just fell in love with the place. And there's always a honey and they just rub you against each other. Which is sweet. And he said, like... And then, you know, um, so you guys want, you know, four rooms? And it's like, hop up, it's like, like, no, we'll just bunk into one. We'll lay on top of each other. It's like, well, you know, since our inn's basically empty, you know, we'll give you your own, um, rooms. Like, but for the price of one, you know, being hospitable, you know, the best inns and, um, ho the hotels, hotels don't usually do this type of stuff, but, you know, the small ones and the hospitable ones, usually do this type of stuff, like, when they're, like, being nice, like, this seems a little too nice, but, you know, sort of like this, and it's, like, you'll get four rooms for the price of one, and I was, like, yeah, and Paul's excited, and, and, you know, and, um, Hop Hop's, like, well, no, we'll, we'll just need three beds, you know, and Polly will bunk with me, and Polly's, like, what, and they said, hey, like, everyone have a cookie, and, you know, everyone took a cookie, Hop Hop took two, and, like, you know, they're, they're, they're eating the cookies, and, you know, um, um, Sprig is like they're going through like the laundry chute, and then he goes back up and he tries to go down again. And and he's playing some music, jumping on the bed, and he said, "And what would you say? Um, what was it? Fatality. Thy name is. I forgot what she said, but I think it's a Hamlet reference. I think I could be wrong, but you know, I recently like, read Hamlet. I think in my um senior year, so you know, I it, I recognize that, but um." <clears throat> What was it? Fatality. My that name is relaxation. I, I I'm sorry. I forgot. But um, then hop up and you know, hop up like put some. I don't know what what it was, but some sort of make his feet like slick or something. And scream stuff on his on feet, and then he's like you know he's gargling and stuff. And he's like and then your Polly's like why can't I have my own room? And he's like because you're too young, honey. Like you're too young, sweetheart. And he's like, but hey, you can have all the cookies you want. And Paul's like, I don't want your pity cookies. And he's like, oh, no. Well, how about a, um, an, a, a pity early bedtime? And Paul's like, I'm not even tired. And Hop Pop's like, but I am. You know, um, one, bed, one bedroom, one bedtime. And he's like, like, lights out in five minutes. I guess he went to, like, the, the bathroom or something. I forgot. And then, you know, then when Hop Hop came back, um, Polly found, like, a conjoined room where you have a, a door and you open it, it goes into another room. You know, I experienced that, like, on occasions. And then, you know, and they're like, oh, Hop Hop, look, there, there, there's a conjoined room. And she goes into the conjoined room. And he's like, can I stay in here tonight? And Hop Hop's like, uh. 
And you know, and Papa's like, I'll leave the door open and I'll go right to bed. And Hoppa's like, mm, okay, fine. But this door stays open. And she's like, yep. And then, you know, Polly goes into bed and you know, Hoppa goes into bed. And Hoppa, you know, being a good, good grandfather, a good grandfather, he's like, I'll be right here if you need me. And Polly's like, three, two, one. And Hoppa like, sleeps. And like, you know, into his snoring. And then Polly just slams the door. It's finally independence. And Polly's jumping in the bed and stuff. She made some forts and she's like, you know, crashing the forts and stuff, having a good time. And then, you know, when Polly, you know, turns off, like, the, the mushroom lamp and, like, oh, finally sleeping in my very own bed. Because she's been sleeping in the bucket. Because remember, reference to actually, um, the, uh, from a long time ago, um, Flood, Sweat, and Tears, um, she said, um, where's Anne sleeping? Because my bucket is for one. So, Polly's been sleeping in the bucket. This is the first time sleeping in the bed, which is, you know, pretty cool. And, um, you know. And this is like very you know creepy. Like you know, you see, you see some lightning, and like you see like the beautiful lightning. The shading looks very creepy, and like you know, um, all the creaking and like the the, tr the tree branch like scratching on the window and stuff. And then you got you got a cameo of Cricket at, from Big City Greens. I know it's been two months since I did that show. I'm gonna get back to it. I just want to finish Amphibia. You know, season one. I think I'm gonna finish it like. Next week, I think, because I need to do episodes 17, 18, 19, the season finale next week. Um, then Amphibia season one will be like done. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Big City Green season, uh, season one to continue that. But I just want to, you know, I got a reference to Cricket. So I just want to say I'm sorry. I know you guys love it. It's you know, got over a thousand views on Remy Rescue. It's coming back. I just I don't know when, but um. You know, cr Cricket the doll is there, okay. And then, you know, um, and Paul's like, okay, it's a little creepy, but nothing I can handle. Eep! And then, <laughs> there's this thing, he's like, and then this thing just cracks his neck, and there's like a skeleton thing, and went, <laughs> and Paul's like, ah! And I, I was like, holy crap! Like, like uh, um, like, that, that, that's, that's the first time I've ever done that, like on, on, on a, an animated kids show <laughs> because I, I I I was scared <laughs> the first time I watched it and then she turned but you know I am honest with my reviews and then you know um she turned back to mushroom light and then it's just a bowling ball and, and like a broom and some like like clothes and like a stool and then I was like oh it's just a bowling ball and some you know a broom and some clothes and other assorted items and then you know she turns off the lamp and you see some more like. Like, you know, like, rustling and stuff like that. And so, oh, I'm not tired. I was just see what Anne's up to. She goes into Anne's room and says, like, Hey, girlfriend! And so they go, oh. Oh, where's Anne? And say, like, oh, Anne's phone. She never goes anywhere without her phone. You yeah, know, that's weird. And so, oh, she go see where Sprig's at. And she goes into Sprig's room and like, Hey, where's the party at? And Sprig's gone. And then she's like, mm. And it's like, oh, it's fine. Perfectly, perfectly fine. They're just probably somewhere else. Now I have to come to go into my own room. And she runs out of there. And she makes this hilarious face because it's a perfect response. She's so scared. And she just slams the door and goes back in the room. And then she's like, uh. And she looks at the Hop Hop's room, the controlled room door. And she's like, uh. And she, like, I guess punches her face or slaps it. And she's like, no, Polly, no. Do not go crawling back to Hop Hop because if you do, you'll never trust you to be alone again. And then he, and then you know, she's like, everything will be fine. You'll be fine. And then she just, you know, goes into her bed, you know, with the light on, you know, I guess it would be less creepy. And she just leaves and she sees and like another, like, and then he hears like an owl, like, woo, -hoo! and a, like a ding in the clock. And so, like, like and then she sends the door open with a Hop Hop, like, Hop Hop, I, I, I'm scared. I don't know where Anna Spriga is at. And, Hop Hop's not there, and she's like, and then like she hears something, and she see, and then you see this um, um big creature with glowing yellow eyes close the door, um, of the conjoined door, and says, oh, I've been looking for you, and she's like, ah. she's like ah, and she like goes, oh where where'd you go, and just you know, Polly just hiding with the dolls, but not hiding really well, and it's like haha, I found you, and then she like you know goes into the laundry shoe, um the. The creature tried to grab her, and then she's like, 
the skids on the, the vent, and you see the um the the husband um Teddy with his two other women southern bullfrogs, and then like oh okay what's going on here, and then he's like like all right, all right I'm setting up the deck like oh they're playing cards oh, okay, and um basically um this the one of the old ladies is like um like. I got the old geezer, and then another one's like, I got the tall one, talk about the drumsticks, and then, um, the dudes are like, I guess I'm stuck with the boy, um, the cooking time will be pretty short, and te be tender, mm -hmm. like, he'll be tender, and then, boy's like, oh, they're cannibals, okay, so basically, Tex uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, in a way, you know, oh, we got car trouble, we had to go to a creepy inn, and there's a ser serial killer there. Sort of, sort of like that. Anyway, okay, anyway. Um, then the Martha, dude, that was the creepy, like, creature that with the glowing yellow eyes that was going after Polly. Um, you know, basically, um, she said, like, oh, like, the, the little one got away. I guess I must have not, um, ate, um, <laughs> I must have not ate any, any of my cookies. I was like, oh, it's the cookies. And they, they, they put them to sleep because... Teddy says, oh, no, Martha, no one makes a, like, a, a what was a slumber doodle like you? Oh, they are all little snuggly, and, um, she's like, oh, did I put too much sugar, like, a little, little less salt this time? And she, and they're complimenting each other, and they're all lovely. It's, it's crazy, but, you know, amphibious crazy. And then, you know, the two women say, okay, you love birds, okay, cut it out. And, um, you know, they, um, have hop, hop, poly, um, bleh, poly, poly safe. Um, Hop Hop and Sprig, and all sleeping. Hop Hop still snoring, and uh, you know they're like d doing the rot, the bleh, rotisserie, like turning into stick. Um, kind of reminded me. Um, spoilers from Madagascar: Escape to Africa. Um, this second movie of the franchise where they had Alex um tied um to the rotisserie stick, and they're like you're know, gonna cook him with like the fire and stuff. So similar to that a little bit. I don't know. Reminded me of that. And then, you know, and, you know, they're, they're about to kick him, and then Paul's like, that's my family! And she, like, g g goes in, and then and Teddy's like, oh, you guys tried my marinade sauce yet? <laughs> and Paul's like, like, marinade this, you cannibals! And he like, slaps one of them, like, and it goes on to the, to the family, and so like, wake up, family! And then, you know, and slaps Hop Hop, like, whoa, 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 what's going on? And she slaps Anne, and it's like, five more minutes, and she slaps Sprig, oh, hey, Polly! And she's like, hey, time to get out of here! This is funny because Hop Hop and Anne had never experienced it before because um, Polly and Sprig are brother and sister. And Polly has done this to Sprig before where it's just natural, which I just found funny. And they said, come on guys, we gotta get out of here. And then it's like, oh dearie, like, like you, you're way out, out of line. Yeah, what's Tadpole like you? Tadpole, Polly, well, I guess it's kind of like the same thing a little bit. Like, what's a Tadpole like you gonna do? And it's like, you're right. I am just a tadpole, and I'm not ready to be alone, which is a good lesson. Even though you can do a lot of things on your own, you can't do everything on your own. Good lesson. And she takes her boomerang, a bow, her bow, and uses the boomerang, and just hits the marinade sauce, and they're all slipping, and she gets her boomerang and the bow, and it's like, all right, family, come on. She's ripping off the, the, the paper and stuff, the wrapping them, and they all, like, you know, hop on, so can play, they hop on, it's like, come on, kids. And, like, you know, and Anne's like, and like staring at the baking soda and vinegar barrels and say, finally, time to take everything I learned from chemistry. And she's like, you know, like, um, you know, cracks her knuckles and stuff. And, then, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, asses and bases and stuff. Okay, fifth, fifth grade science. I did it. And, um, then, like, you know, th th then they go to, like, the, the, the shed where they could go to Bessie. I guess they just sell the snails and stuff. Where it's like, oh, um, but Bessie, the, there you are, and Sprig's like, oh, there you are, you beautiful princess. And then, then you know, and Sprig's like, ah, Hop Hop, you wanna check this out? And, um, then you see all these other snails, and, um, and, and Hop Hop said, hey, Polly, go in under Bessie and see what, what's troubling her, like, what was on her tail. Is it on a chief? And there's, like, a bear trap, and all oh, that, that must have hurt, like, oh, oh my god. 
like and then you and then you know they they and then he hop was like how on earth did this bear trap or snail trap get on her tail and springs like hop hop and there's these other bear traps like you know on top of these snails i guess they sell the snails and stuff and then Sprig kind of points out the obvious, which is funny. It's like, oh, this is must what they do. They trap passengers on the road. We're at the breakfast and bed and breakfast. This is the one thing I don't like. Like a couple things I don't like about the episode, where a hop up's like, yeah, obvi. Like, come on, let's go. I know that. Oh, I want to be cool. I'm like, mm, I don't, I don't really like it. I don't know. Like, if Anne did it, or Sprig and Polly did it, okay, but uh, Hop Up's in the 60s. I don't know, me personally, I just didn't like it, so it's a 95%. We're close to the end of, uh, end of the episode, actually, so, oh, that's pretty good. And uh, Anne's, like, laughing, and, uh, and Hop Up's like, what are you laughing at? Oh, nothing. And like, let's get out of here. Before I get to, like, a nice callback, I have, like, another complaint where, remember when Polly's like, hey, that's Anne's phone. And I, I assume, while. Well, she was gonna do the asses and bases thing with the baking soda and vinegar barrels, put them together, which I assumed that she was doing, and she did. Why is why doesn't she have her backpack with her with her phone? Like maybe it's the animation thing. I don't know. I just, I'm a Nick picker, so ninety percent because that's her stuff. But because cartoon logic, she's gonna have a backpack. Ugh. Um, but um, then the a nice callback where. Anne should have done this in the episode Con was it Contagi Anne when she was pretending to be sick. Pop Pop's like, Bessie things are getting messy and then she just booked out there and you know, books out of there. And then um then I was like, why didn't they release the snails? And they did, and the bear trots are off, but it didn't seem like they did. I, I think they should have took the time to you know, I, I guess they, they ran out of time to do that because it's only eleven minute segments. I don't know. I just thought they should have done that. I don't know. So that's like another complaint. 85%. And then, you know, um, then you got the couple. And like, you know, it's like, oh, like, oh, like, oh, like oh, I got you, honey. And the, hey, did, did you leave the stove on? And then you see the baking soda and the, the vinegar. They didn't tell you, like, oh, dear. And then, you know, pfft, the, the end explodes. And then it's like, yeah, chemistry for the win. And then, like, you know, they go home, and it's crazy, oh, home sweet home, and, you know, keep kissing the floor, and, um, and then, you know, and Anne goes, goes on the floor, too, because they're all tired. It's, it's at night, and, you know, and Hop-Hop's like, hey, Polly, even though you're so a little kid, you're so a pollywog, you did save us, and you proved it can be on your own. Maybe it's time I give you some more independence, which is good. Polly's like, thank you, Hop-Hop, but... Um, what'd she say? Um, you, you know, thanks, Hop Hop, but I still realize I still need you guys. I can't, I can't do everything on my own, which is a good lesson. I like that. Because Polly wasn't, like, immediately 100% right. She still needs her family, which is good. And, so the, and hey, Hop Hop, can I sleep in your bed tonight? And tonight was pretty freaky. And Hop Hop's like, yeah, I guess that's all right, because she sleeps in a bucket. And then you see how you know reading the book and Polly sleeping and Polly always be he hears the door and and then Sprig it's like Sprig's like hey kid, room for two more and it was really traumatizing and Polly's like again you're crazy kids and you know Anne goes in there and Sprig gets in there and Hop Pop's like 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 Sprig like boy your feet are cold and Sprig's like deal with it Polly laughs and the episode great episode eighty five percent it was this Hop Hop saying Obvi the whole. Why didn't Anne get her backpack with her phone and stuff? And, um, the whole, like, getting the snails out of there was the snails to escape. But how did they escape? So, those are my only, you know, three uh, c complaints. They're only minor complaints. The whole skeleton thing. Oh, that, that, that was one of the most, like, craziest things I've ever seen. And uh, Amphibia has, like, scared me a couple of times. But that, like, took the cake where I actually, like, um, said, like, um, not really, like, a um, it, it kind of pushed me to a, like a limit. I, I like I, I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> but um, yep, it was a B plus for me. Um, later today I'm gonna be doing um Wally and Anne and um uh, Wally. Okay, and like, that's gonna be interesting. You know, Wally with Anne, and um everyone um you know, um um everyone don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, give me a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys later today for 
Amphibia Season 1, Episode 15, B, called Wally and Anne. Alright, bye!